There's probably no hot sound that whole time. Thankfully, I didn't say anything important other than welcome to Kilika Whiskey Music. My name is Brian. This is a sample Sunday from Missouri. The sample is a Clonic Kilty port finish. Originally was in bourbon casks, 56.4%. Given to me by Rob Smith when I gave him his prize. So that's the gist of what I just said. Thank you for letting me know because with no one's in chat, I can't tell. <clears throat> And uh, that happened because I had to plug in the webcam to do the live streaming. And unfortunately, the mic section of OBS was like, I don't know, it's there. Huh? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank you, Sure Kitty. Yes, there was no sound. But uh, thankfully, if no one's here, no one noticed. Except you. I'll thank you for that. Oh, sound. Whiskey to invest in your whole life. Welcome. Oh, sound. Staticky, staticky sound now. Is it terrible? If it's terrible, I can fiddle with it. Like, you know. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. There, there's sound, at least. That's the pro. Uh, as you can see, it's another beautiful day here in Missouri. Well, you can't really see, but if I... Hold on, I had this earlier. You can see why that is. Um, I'm muting it purposefully because if I open it up all the way, it's just blinding. It's it's evening time, so it shouldn't even be that bright. But because the sun is getting lower, but it's setting from that direction. Story about two hours ago. Yep, yep, yep. They have hail here. At least there's sound. I don't know what might be causing any weirdness with it, because I don't mess with this thing ever. Sorry for the noise if you're hearing any. Uh. But uh, we are dealing with the excuse me. We are dealing with the webcam microphone. And it's got an attitude, as you can tell right now. Just look at me. And I did just get back, like, 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. Bob oh, Smith, there's the devil himself. Hello. We got to sample some of this last night. It was very good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, finishing up some of the rest of it tonight. Well, this afternoon, this evening, whatever day it is. I hope you've gotten to try one of your samples. If not, well, you've got plenty of time. Whee. I did a little tasting for my friend last night, which is why we get to try some of this. And why some more of this is gone. Not a lot. A little bit. If you were here on Friday night. Ouch. Ugh. We had a whole bunch of barbecue stuffs. I did. I will. I will finish the last one, too. I'm going to start with a sip of the gold label. Uh, not to cleanse my palate or prepare or anything. It's just a lower percentage, and I've had a beer today, that's it, I mean I had food and everything, but that's the most recent thing I have drank, so my, my palate has New England IPA all over it, oh Rob, I got the, um, the Voltron beer, and I drank, well, officially I guess I've drank two of them, I drank one early on to find out what it was, and then another this afternoon, and I brought the other two, I brought the three that were left to my friend's house, and we got to drink some of it for him, and I drank all of mine, and he enjoyed it, he really liked it. Hey, Proman! Good God, man. I hope you're doing well. I hear there's snow there. So that sucks. Hopefully you can dig yourself out. <sighs> you got plenty of whiskey, it'll be fine. Uh, I, I was saying a moment ago, uh, hail is a common thing here. It feels weird to say that, because if there's any hail in New England, we don't know what the hell's going on. And it's usually in the colder months if that happens at all. It's like frozen ice things, but here, it just kind of happens every once in a while. <laughs> happened a week ago, or a week and a half ago. It happened today. 
Or I thought it was just raining and it was making that ping, 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 kink, kink sound. Kink, 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 kink. Ah, uh, yeah, that was weird. And it only it came and went. It was like, yep, oh, yep, gone. Yeah, the cloud. I am weary. Uh, the Mike Skull. Uh oh, look out! Here's trouble. Shrug them. They uh, yeah, the hail's a new thing. But the clouds around here become much more menacing. I don't know if it's just because they're darker clouds in general, but when I know they have the option of turning into a tornado, I'm more concerned every time I see them. So. There's that. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, as long as I can get back on Tuesday without incident. Yay. I think the, the closest little tornado scare they had was before I arrived, and hopefully that'll be the only one they have for a long time. We will see. Excuse me, goddamn. All this being active, and I did, I did, what do we got? Hold on. Show me. Oh, wrong one. I've done 8,878 steps today. I usually do 3,000 if that. Uh, I mentioned, I don't know if the sound was out or not, but I've been doing, we were walking around today doing the um, St. Louis Botanical Gardens, which is a big place, and I saw the Japanese section, and I saw some geese, and I saw some koi fish. It was actually really nice. It was a nice day for it. You know, the rain wasn't there. We had some donuts earlier in the day. Oh, donuts. No, not allowed. Tell it to go away. John McGill, hello. Welcome to this chaos. Another Kilco travel musings. You can see there's the bed and there's the big window. At least the outside. Let me show you guys the outside once more because last time I showed you it was dark. So you gotta see the view I got right now. Come with me. <laughs> oh. Gotta move this before I can see anything. We are. Get this over here, actually. Come here. You go farther than this. Generally speaking, I'm looking at this. There's the highway over there. And we got the nice little water fountains down there. I can't see if they're on. Yeah, they are. Yeah, pretty pretty sweet view, right? Whoop. Let's try to keep it little, shall we? Help me. Sorry. Don't let me play with the camera, all right? That's what we've learned. Let me touch it. There we go. That's about right. Mama Kilko, greetings from Boston. Uh, I hope you're alright. I hope Dad's doing okay because I imagine being stuck in a hospital. Not his favorite thing. What are you going to do? You just missed the view, Ma. So if you want to see what the view was outside the window, you got to backtrack 30 seconds. Like I said, I have to keep that closed up because it's way too bright even though it's not that bright. the sun's not coming directly through the window but it's still bright Andy Bradley hello nice trees yes it is nice you saw it okay good 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 I got a nice picture or two uh, with my friend and his family or his son and his wife today but I can't show you because privacy uh, I wouldn't want to do that. They, they're pretty much offline. Oh, Mom, Mama Kilko, meet Rob Smith. Rob Smith is the one who I met here in Missouri for the first time to give him his reward, his prize. That was a fun day. That was a good one of the good a good day to start things off with. Going to a liquor store and getting lots of whiskey. Oh. Uh, I have oh shoot. I gotta get up again. There's a lot of this for the travel. Streams is like, oh yes, ah, it's over there. Dang. Hold, please. First. Hmm. Cold name size. Hmm. Oh, good. Ow. Ah. 
What's the nice down there? Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> Look, uh, we went to the distillery tour I talked about. We're still 6.30. Look at the color on this thing. Bam! Running. Wow, that's really dark. I wonder why. I'll tell you. I haven't tried them yet. Good God, man. Well, if you do go, it's very tiny still, for the record. And this is still 6.30. We have the port finished. Hold on, come on. Do it, do it. You should be better than the one at home. Come on now. Don't be like your brother. Behave yourself. Come on. Focus. Focus. Do it, damn you are. I'll throw you out the window. All right, screw it. There you go. That's about as well as it's going to focus today. It's really focused on me, and that's about it. So American Whiskey, port finished. What you can't see, unfortunately, is I'm trying to show you the percentage. Which is quite a bit up there. Ugh, screw it. So it's 60.55%. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Reason I bought it. Partially, yeah. But it's one of the rare release barrels. This guy is basically a one-man show for making his own whiskey. And I believe, uh, when I went on the tour, he had mentioned that he was... One, he used to be a lawyer, so there's that. And he helped to enact uh, the whiskey rules and laws to make it so... Missouri bourbon or Missouri whiskey is a thing, legally. Nice finish and proof, right? I've already pointed, like, Irene... I'm like, Irene, have you heard about these guys? You should look at them, uh, because you can get barrels from them. And I think they said custom barrels, but I believe that just means they would get the the, the, the barrel product they'd need. Since one of the rules they have is they can only use oak wood from Missouri. Missouri oak, Missouri grain. Missouri made. I'm pretty sure they don't import the water either, so Missouri water? I don't know. Uh, the point is they have very strict rules for their whiskey now because they decided to do that. There was, there was legal stuff about it. It went through. It's law. There is, a, technically speaking, in America, a strict regiment for Missouri bourbon, unlike Tennessee whiskey, which just decided to call itself that. It's still bourbon. This is also still bourbon, but they have a stricter regulation for it. For whatever reason, I mean, I don't. Not many, not many states have been like, you know what? <laughs> Let's make stricter rules on how we make our bourbon. So they can't import grains or anything. They can't get um, barrels from other, other country, other countries, other states. It's a bit wild. They're big on oak trees. Yeah, they have plenty of oak trees, and they, they will not run out of that. <laughs> Mr. Great Shot, hello, cheers, welcome. How's Texas right now? Hot? I thought so. Uh, so on the back here, I'll read this. Aged Rally Point Rye Whiskey finished in Nobelis Winery Port Wine Barrels. So I'm guessing that is a local winery. Of course it is. Aged Missouri Bourbon finished in Nobelis Wine and Port Wine Barrels. Blended together to showcase the best of Missouri and produce an exceptional cast of American whiskey with port wine finish. Aged five years. What he didn't say on here, what it doesn't exactly say on here, is it's not just a rye. It's a rye and bourbons mixed together. Uh, each five years, three months. Batch one. So bottle number J37. Let's look at the J. It's a one or a two. Two, three, seven? That probably makes more sense. Do, 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 do. I'm reading a little bit of the stuff on the bottom. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what he said. And it doesn't say on the bottle, which is rather annoying. But from my understanding during the tour, this is one where they blended a bunch of their own whiskeys together, rye and bourbon, and then finished it in a port cask. And I thought, that sounds great. And it was actually the one uh, we got to try, I believe it was three different whiskeys. Actually, the first one I had wasn't a whiskey, it was an apple brandy. But that was tasty too, I was very tempted. But money, <clears throat> so I didn't get it. I tried it, and I did like it. So I would buy that if it weren't for the fact that I was in a Missouri distillery looking to buy Missouri whiskey. Uh, the other one I had was, I believe it was their bourbon. And there was something slightly weird about it. It was a castrate bourbon, so the proof was up there. Similar to this one. 
But then I tried this one, which is finished, and a blend, and it really made me go, yeah, oh, yeah. I would absolutely use this in cocktails if I wanted to, but for the most part, I'd probably pour myself a hefty pour of this and just be done for the rest of the evening. Can't open it now, of course, because it's got to get across the skies and back onto my shelving. Well, onto my shelf, it hasn't been there before. So that's what we should have to look forward to later. It's a cool bottle design, too. Pretty pretty uh, hefty thing. I don't know if they need to have the bottles made in Missouri. I certainly hope not, but as I said, there are a lot of stipulations when making this state's whiskey, uh, bourbon otherwise. I believe he said he made a malt. He does, what do you say? Sorry, I ate not that long ago. Oof. Uh, yeah, we're janky. <laughs> janky travel stream, yes. Apologies, but this is what you get. Can't exactly plug in. What was I saying? Balls, I forget. Oh, yes, he does rum. Brandy rum. I believe he said malt whiskey. He might do tequila, too, but I don't think so. There's brandy, there's rum, and there's whiskey. And there might have been one more, but I can't remember which one. Gin! There we go. Gin. So he makes those four things in his distillery. And it's almost just a, a one guy a one guy doing the whole thing, which I don't understand. It's a doable thing to do. Uh, it's just you're not going to have a lot of product. And the fact that he's releasing stuff like this at 60%, uh, he doesn't have to. <laughs> He could get a lot more money if he watered it down, but apparently he's very keen on the idea of making uh, the best whiskey he can. Oop. What's this? Oop. Wait, hot. Oop. Look what you did. All right, now I have to figure out how to see that. Thank you for whatever that was. What? That hey, you just gave me ten thousand dollars. Well, there's a delay on the sound there, but you got the idea. What just happened? All right, let me see. Let me see. So it was very nice to me just now. And what have you done is the next question. Because apparently I can't see it with uh, with this OBS. I didn't have it set up properly. So I gotta look now. I'm okay with that. A good thing just happened. I gotta find out what it was. I also have to reset the cup. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to have it sitting right under me like this. It's funny. Let's see. Excuse me. Ugh. Also, my friend's wife and his child are still a little sick. So guess who's going to be sick when he gets back? <laughs> uh. Can't wait. I feel fine now, but I guarantee something's going to come at me uh, when I get back. Hopefully when I get back. Like, leave me alone. Don't come at me until I'm back. Please. I want to have, you know, the plane ride itself is going to be enough to take it out of me. Let alone being ill. It's like a cough, I think, just like a cold. But I don't want it. I did that earlier this month. Or earlier last month. I'm good. No, 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 no. Activity feed. Right. <laughs> Patrick Greeny, thank you very much uh, for your very generous donation just now. Food, drink, and fun funds. Thank you very much. That is incredibly helpful. This bottle was not cheap. It was at least $65. And then I added a tip because that's the autopilot thing to do. And it was likely $15 for that. Jeebus. <sighs> I know I can show that somehow. Whoa, hey, whoa, wee, wee. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where we're tweaking something here. Well, I don't know if it's going to work. Well, that doesn't seem to be working. Anyway, right, thank you. Uh, I wish I could highlight that. I don't know why I can't, actually. Oh, I know why. It was it was not done through the usual channels. It went direct. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Patrick, for that. 
He just comes in. Hello, generosity. Boom. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. And again, sorry for the Wi-Fi if you are watching this and it's going. That's because hotel Wi-Fi. I don't even know if there's a way to pay to upgrade, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I don't like that. Yeah, when you see the anime guy pop up and be like, "Hey, you just give me ten thousand dollars," that means it went very likely directly through uh, to the pal. And the other one is the rabbit. When you see the rabbit, that's usually Super Chats. And this, I'm telling you this so I can remember because I forget. It. I set it up. I know I still don't remember. Yep. Well, that's very helpful. <laughs> it really is. Uh, here, what I didn't, I think I mentioned last time. Was it Friday we did this? Hold on. My brain doesn't want to work. Yeah. If you were here Friday night, I talked about the um, special Japanese meal we have had. And it was very expensive, for the record. So there, there's that. Um, and that, <laughs> believe it or not, you just helped me pay Greg back because he had to use his car to buy it. We spent like 300 something odd dollars on one meal. Granted, we were there for like two hours. So, time well spent, meal was delicious, sake was wonderful. Uh, they were so generous that they gave us two other, like, we, we had a four course meal and they gave us two more courses because we were enjoying ourselves so much at no extra cost. I mean, that's, that doesn't happen often enough. But I think part of it, I'd like to believe, was because I was trying to blurt out a few Japanese words that I can remember, like uh, oishi and itadakimasu and little things like that. And I have a feeling they were listening, because they do that. Uh, I still don't remember what you're supposed to say when you finish a meal. They told me before we left, because I asked. And I'm like, I was like, huh? I was even like bowing automatically. <laughs> that was funny. But yeah, that that's a big chunk of like worry off my mind now. Thank you very much. I can't like I can't stop thinking about that because that was that helped a lot because I don't like owing people money, and I owe Greg one hundred and thirty five dollars still. But uh, as soon as I get him set up, because I have no idea how to get that to him, uh, I can pay him back and be done with it. Get that get out, that out of my head. I usually do not spend that much money on food all at once, and uh, I did give him like fifty dollars already. So it was a little more than that. It was 185, I believe. So, blah. Thank you again. That's, that really is a weight off my mind. So that was definitely the... How did you put it? Um, food, drinks, and funds. You just helped out tremendously with that. Boo! Okay. Sip a little bit more of this. I haven't even gotten to the... We're going to go a little past to 8. Sorry, I'm shifting my brain, because right now it's 6.36 here. I don't think I actually started the stream until 6.10 at the earliest. Only 6.15, but I will be going over a little bit longer because I was delayed uh, in starting. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to start at all uh, until it became apparent that <laughs> my friend and his wife were going to be preoccupied dealing with their son because it's Sunday, and he's at home. But tomorrow, all of us, all three of us, are going to go uh, see the eclipse as best we can. About a two and a half hour drive, so we're going to get to talk about all kinds of things. And uh, they, 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 their son will be uh, with the grandparents, I believe. Oh. And once again, a reminder: I have known both of these people for let's see I'm 43 now doesn't even remind myself of that so I'll take off 20 years just to even this out 20 years uh, from 2020 uh, when I was well, technically for 20 I have known Greg at least since I was 14 so, well, let's make it easier. Let's say, we'll say 20, 13, we'll say 13. So that's uh, 13, 23, 33, 43, 30 years. Whoa. 
<laughs> what a weird feeling that is. Uh, I've known this guy for 30 years. We've been friends ever since. It's wild. Uh, but also, I've known his wife for almost as many years. I think when we were in... Was it senior? No, no, senior. It was like... 10th grade, maybe? 10th or 11th grade? I've known her a while, too. Almost as long. Uh, so it's good that... Oh, what the heck? So it's good that... Yeah, you know, we all get to hang out a little bit. What? No. McGersh! There we go. Technicalities on my end. I'm sorry. Thank you all for being here, by the way. I just, unfortunately... I'm, Unintentionally glad at the amount of people that are in here. Thanks for spending your Sunday with me. Blue Jay, what? Hello, good evening. Good, as you can tell, it's evening. <laughs> Special glasses, I do. I was very apparent. I I was beating myself up so bad because I thought I had forgotten them at home. I had not, uh, but for at least a, a few hours. I thought I had. And then when I got back from, I believe we went out for dinner and got steak. I've been eating very heavy stuff lately, I realize that. Steak, sushi, and then today barbecue. So, huh. I'm going to have to take it easy when I get back on uh, on the heavy foods. But, um, what was my point? Yes, I did find them. They were in my bag. I had put them in one of my uh, air things, like to hold bottles. I put them in there so I wouldn't accidentally forget them and make sure make sure they didn't get twisted or broken or smashed. So that was a huge relief because I felt like an idiot thinking I had forgotten them at home uh, when I hadn't. Because that's that's the one thing I did not that's the one thing I absolutely did not want to do. And for a few hours, I thought I had, but when I got back, there was so much relief. Uh, and some more whiskey. Hello, cheers from Vegas. Hello. Play some slot machines for us. Or don't, I mean. I'm not I'm not one for gambling, thankfully. I found out that if I early on that I would get angry at the machine and be like, I'll show you, I'll keep putting money in you until I win. That's bad. So, so early on I realized, eh, I probably shouldn't deal with this, so I don't. I don't. And plus casino scenes are not my deal. They really aren't. Then boot. Hello. Watching delay at 1.5 speed. Hope to catch up. Uh, the beginning is me not knowing that there's no sound. Which is honestly something I should learn to check on when I'm doing this. Uh, especially because I had to plug in the camera right before I started streaming. But everything's fine now. I'm sure the volume is garbage. But webcam microphone. At some point I will get a uh, smaller portable microphone but let's be real it seems like not a great idea to spend a significant amount of money on a microphone that I would carry around when I travel which is about twice a year if that this year was it was gonna be once uh, but then me and my friend had been talking about this like hey, you know what we have we've been meaning to do this for years already we should probably do it soon and uh, coincidentally, it happened to line up with this. Very, very coincidentally, it happened to line up with this uh, lunar, the solar eclipse, which will be wild. Stay tuned. I plan to videotape that, record that as best I can uh, when it happens, just so I can have it on my channel. It'll be everywhere, trust me. But and I know seeing it myself is very different than trying to film it. Sound is funny, but we're with you, ma'am. Yeah. Sorry. If I unplug this, that'll be bad. Let me see here. I want to make sure I'm using the right microphone. I think I am. How's that? Better or worse? I did change something, so it's a matter of better or worse. Have I ever witnessed a solar eclipse? 
Not to my knowledge. I don't seem to remember doing it. I saw Haley's Comet. Like, I saw that it was up there, and that was about it. So I'm Mark Twain. But no, I've never actually gone better. Excellent. Okay, keep that in mind for later. You'd think the webcam mic would be better, but no. No, no. The laptop microphone is great. Uh, good. Good to know. Thank you. That might have also been because I plugged it in late. And I thought, you want to use the webcam microphone? Like, I don't know, do I? Huh? But we're better now. We're professionals. Janky. Hmm. Much better. Cool. That's situated. Again, janky travel streams. That's what these are. Oof. Let's get to the actual whiskey I'm supposed to drink, shall we? Mm. I want to finish this so I can take home the nice empty thing. Just beautiful. That is great. My friend Greg has at least... Well, I gave him eight. Eight of these. And uh, four of them got significantly lowered. I'm a lot quieter. Ah, let's see. Hold on. La 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 Better? I don't know why the thing was down, but it was. Thank you, Andrew Butler. Uh, give me feedback, guys. If something seems off, let me know. I appreciate that. Uh, it'll take me a minute to all cook on the comments. Oh, how do we fix this? But, at least I know. Now I'm kind of dipping into the red. If I enunciate to my fullest. I don't want to blow your ears out. Left background noise. There's also a delay on my end. Broken to the samples. <laughs> oh, and of course, if you want to see what's going on with me right now, as much as I like you know, my channel is where I should put everything. But uh, Instagram is just easier to deal with, especially with the little story clip it bits. So if you do, if you're not following my Instagram, please do. If you don't use Instagram, don't worry about it. Uh, but I do have the pictures of the food and the tours, touristinging. I got to see the arch recently. Yesterday? God, it all really starts to blur together. Yeah, I did see that. I don't know if I, well, no, I'm not going to tell you what happened, but there was a group of people there who just, you know, I did one of these, like just the fucking, oh. oh, it was, it was a bit odd. I think I might've mentioned it on Friday, but I don't feel like thinking about it again. They're not worth it. If anything was comical. Rob Smith, let me know which one you're drinking. I can't tell you exactly what it is uh, at the moment, but I do have the list at home. And you have my email address if you want to ask. Specifically, if you drink one tonight, you want to know what it is, email me there. I'll email you back when I return home. Hmm. I'll happily finish running off the said sample. Okay, if you're just showing up, uh, Rob Smith here, well, in chat, you can't really tell where he is, in chat. Clonic Hilti Pork finished 56.4%. Original, original oak bourbon was where it was hanging out before it went into the port. Only a little bit of it, because we drank most of it, because it was good. Oh, yeah, no, don't do that. Patrick Greeny, you're doing it again. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> oh, wait, I have, a, I have an option. Oh, it's going right here, too. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Okay, tell me you can't hear the Fancy Pants now. That's my only way to fix it. Oh, pants. that didn't work, because I can hear it. Damn it. I can't stop it. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, yes, I can. Hold on. Uh, bop. And bop. Let 
me know if you can hear it because I officially can't hear it anymore. So do tell. Patrick Rainey, thank you once again for continuing to keep these people stuck as members of my channel. Appreciate that. Unfortunately, I can't change anything uh, about the outro because it just happened. And I won't be able to fix it until I get home. But thank you. It's always lovely to have YouTube. You basically tell YouTube with your memberships to be like, this guy's great. People like it here. Uh-oh. Certain Adriano Rodriguez was uh, just gifted a membership. Nick, you better tell her. Let her know she's a member again. She can't escape. That's funny. Oh, excuse me. Uh, again, travel is exhausting, so is being around a lot of people. St. Louis, the place I was, wish I was April to September every year. Really? April to September. I heard it's hot. Yeah. My, my the implication is that it gets really hot here during the summer. And muggy. Okay, I think the fancy pants has had been complete. There we go. Let me see if I can do this without breaking anything. Do 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 do. Yeah. Why is this not working? Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Someday I'll figure out how to use this properly. I have it set up at home just great. But on here, yeah, not so much. Oh, really? Tip jar. God, my computer doesn't like this. You know, the the Wi Fi product doesn't like it either. Let's. Boop. Reload cup, clear cup, let's reload. See if that did anything. Okay. Yes, I got the cup in the, in the correct spot now. We'll see how long it stays there. Let us see. Doink, doink. There's the big one. Huh. It does get hot, yeah. Oh, I can put my sound back on. All right. Well, I think I accidentally cleared the cup. Never made drop. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're getting to the whiskey. I promise. There's a lot of complications with this. I didn't hit clear the cup, so I don't know what's going on. Here we go. This nice little color. Beautiful. And this is an Irish whiskey finished in port, Clonakilty specifically. Oh, yes. Berries and cream, I believe, is what I said yesterday. It's got a blackberry vibe going. Because, of course, port! And raisin. Can't forget raisin. Very fruit forward. With that lovely vanilla hint it comes with May and Irish whiskey. April, September baseball season. Got it. Yeah, that just started uh, yesterday. <laughs> so while me and my friend are downtown, I'm going to go into the distillery. We pulled into the distillery parking lot. And there's a guy with like a neon orange flag. He's like, 20 bucks. We're like, we're here for the distillery. I was like, oh, never mind. Just park. Because he thought we were trying to park for the baseball game. Uh, there was a lot of people walking around in red. I think the Cardinals. Uh, I don't know. There was red everywhere. People were wearing red stuff all over the place. Uh, and it was clear that something was going on. Because of all the people who were trying to flag people down to get them to park. Uh, one guy was especially working the crowd. He was, he was moving and grooving. Trying to get people to come into his lot. It's funny. Uh, more power to him. But that was a funny day to be downtown. 
Maybe the baseball stuff is just starting. Ah, definitely the Cardinals. Okay, good. That's what I figured. I wasn't sure. The last thing I remember hearing about was when um, Rob Smith and I were at the liquor store and they started to talk about hockey. And I just with my eyes and like, I don't know what they're talking about at all. They've had ho hel helicopters, helicopters going down recently. I saw at least a couple out today. I hope I didn't get sunburned. I don't know if anyone else is going to be able to tell yet. But I was out in the sun today. I did put sunblock on. I burned very fast, so I hope I avoided that. Tomorrow's going to be more of the same because I'm going to be driving for a minute. I'm still not sure how the weather's going to be. Mm -hmm. There was a bit of a chocolate note. Still berries and cream. Oh, it's bracing. <laughs> the proof is there. Lovely vanilla. I like a vanilla cupcake. Mm. Oh my gosh. Vanilla cupcake, vanilla frosting, and like blackberries. And um, what did I just say? It was like a blackberry jam or a compote on top of that. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like chocolate shavings on top of it. That's right. We're talking maybe 30% dark chocolate. The rest is milk chocolate. Just enough to get a little, little tamp down on the sweetness of the chocolate a little. It is a little dry on the finish. It's lingering. It's not sucking the life out of my tongue or anything, but you can feel it on the sides of the end of my tongue. No, it's just sides of my tongue. Voila. Delightful. <laughs> I hope you have more than one bottle of that, because uh, it's lovely. Uh, it's, it's, I've also found out from um, one of Irene Hand picks, one of Irene Hand's picks was also a port finish, and I remember enjoying the out of it. Uh, but I don't remember which one it was. Probably the Queen's Jam. I'm not 100% sure on that, because I have the Christmas cake open, which means the Queen, Queen's Jam is the one I'm very likely happy for that. I would have to go through my own playlists to remember that, unfortunately. And that is very complicated to do right now, for the reasons. Uh, oh, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. You saw it. You know you saw it. Mm. We're very close to the... I have to start pushing that idea of like and subscribe more. I don't want to, but uh, I have to because it should. Uh, we are so close to the the end of the thousand. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do when we hit the thousand subscribers mark, because then it's like, what do I do? Two thousand? What? I did one thousand five hundred. Where? Where do I? Where? <laughs> uh, so we're trying to get to a thousand mark for subscribers, and we're almost. We, it's like over there. We're about one hundred and fifty five. Or is it? No. Yes. Yes. 155. Or is it 145? No, it's 155. We get celebrated at 50, is what I'm saying. Which is soon, I hope. Uh, I just have to do a few more shorts and that sort of thing. Uh, I should probably do some of more stuff I've done here. Maybe using pictures and such. Upward and onward, yes. Forward. Forward and upward. <laughs> propelled into the sky uh, that however is just for ad revenue which would be great to get uh, what do they call it there's a word for it hold on my ah, balls passive income is that the word 
155 make me kick. I thought that's what it was. So passive income would be crazy. It would still be advertising. So it would be minimal. It would all be based off of how much, how many of my streams and videos are watched that generate any type of ad, ad revenue in inundation. I am monetized. I am partially monetized. So YouTube decided to do, I believe it was 750 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours, something like that, to get the first monetization, which is what we see here, uh, memberships and super chats. Those have happened because I hit that mark. And once I get to ad revenue, oh, and I can show off my merch. Like you'll, you'll notice in some videos, it will have a merch thing below it because I happen to be wearing the shirt at the time. Chicken feed, yeah. You know, chicken feed is better than nothing. <laughs> and as of right now, unless you guys do Super Chats, uh, which again, you have been, Super Chats and memberships, and that's you guys, uh, YouTube isn't really pa it's passively involved. It's like we give you the ability to do that, so we're going to take a little bit. Thank you very much. And the same thing is going to be said for uh, ad revenue, except that's a reverse thing, where you guys watch the ads. YouTube goes, okay, ads are being watched. Here's your little chunk. So I, I'd like to believe the idea is that things circle around in a different way. And either way, point, very important point, is I, this is the job. And it's the only one I have. It's the only way I've been able to make income over the past. Well, it's been <laughs> it's better a matter of months if I think about it. But I got, mon I got monetized in October. And that was the first time I was actually receiving any money from anything. Like any other type of company thing. Granted, you guys were giving it to them, giving it to me. That's very important to keep in mind. Uh, but I think it helped in some regard where if I did get money through Venmo or PayPal, that was amazing, believe me. But I didn't, I used it very quickly. <laughs> like specifically the PayPal thing that just happened earlier, that's going right to Craig. <laughs> uh, but with, um, sorry for her. With YouTube, it holds on to it and gives it to me near the end of the month. So the 21st of every month, all the Super Chats and memberships, they plop into my lap. Uh, then, so like last month, which did very well, uh, better than before, ever. I'm still not sure why. Oh, wait, I know why. March. There's a lot of Irish whiskey stuff going on. Mm. So all that. And of course, Patrick Reed coming in and be like, ah, boom, generosity. That's been a thing lately, but uh, the most um, revenue happened last month, and I will be getting that on the 21st of this month. So that's how, how, that's how all that works. The month previous is when I get the money about a month later. So like next month, last month, March, I will get the full amount on the 21st, which is a ways away, but it also keeps it as a chunk. Uh, that was my, I was trying to roundabout conversation, roundabout conversation of, I don't do that very well if the money comes directly at me, because it's like, I have it, I need to use it on things, whereas this way, I can think ahead of what I might use it for, and not have it be such an immediate, like, oh, need to pay off credit card, need to pay off friend, <laughs> need to pay off, need to pay more bottles, more bottles. No. All around to make sure I say thank you to you guys the most because if you didn't watch this and if you didn't super chat and if you didn't membership none of that would happen so it's, i've been very fortunate that that's been a thing at all in my life that this is doing anything this is doing something which has been more than nothing which has been most of my adult life i had to work uh for someone else directly and it did not work well for me i tried it it sucked I tried it. It sucked. What was my point? <laughs> Bad God, I forgot. Oh, yes, of course. So getting to a 1,000 subscribers is the next step. It's very close. I've never gotten this close, clearly. Uh, but it's certainly improved things that I've been getting content out, doing two live streams a week for as long as I have. Since that generally makes it so if you find this channel, there are, oh, as of, was it last week? I checked this recently, and I mentioned it before at some point. 
as of last Wednesday, which is last Wednesday now, that video was the 300th video I've made. And I mean the 300th video I've made. Not live streams. Video. Which is disturbing. I don't like to think about that too much. But since I've been making videos since 2019, uh, that isn't completely surprising. And I should point out uh, shorts. I believe those count in that category. Either way, I've been doing this long enough. There's plenty of content to watch if you should find an interest in the channel. I always love to tell people, go back and watch the first ones. You'll see how much this has changed since then. How much better the videos are, how much better the live streams are. Yeah, at least I hope they're better. And it's a learning experience all the way. Blah. One dollar Canadian day for 350 to 400 years. Yeah. I know it's not great. But once again, it's better than the zero that would that I would get. So the ads are still seen by you. You still have to watch the ads. The only perk is that once I get 1,000 subscribers and the hours watched, which we already did that, that's that's part of the reason. I'm like, hey, 1,000, do it now, <laughs> please. I got the hours, we're good. Uh, the, the only reason is because it's, you know, that would be the, the ad revenue they're getting right now that I'm not getting a piece of. When we get to that point, I'd get that. And even like you said, at $1 Canadian today for 300, 400 years, fine like it's it's one dollar more than i had um, that's where my situation at that's where i often feel a bit odd doing what i'm doing since a lot of people who have their own channels have a stability that i only dream of house family money uh regular job they can actually do that sort of thing so it's complicated and, you know, the ability to buy bottles without too much of a problem. Where here, you know, the bottles I buy are usually a problem. But I'm being very cautious this time. I'm trying to... Unlike going to Texas, where I have 10 bottles to bring back, in this case, I have have thought out my, my purchases fairly clearly. So unless I saw something really fancy that I really wanted on a shelf somewhere, and I've seen some wild shelves while I'm here, uh, liquor stores and gas stations and such, and CVS and uh, drug stores, really. <laughs> uh, uh. So I've seen a lot more here, but it's still, uh, still nothing that really jumped out at me and made me say, "Oh, I need that." I did see a very large Buffalo Trace bottle. That was pretty funny. I deserve nothing, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, I'm putting in the effort as best I can. And it will be nice to get there. If, if nothing else, if nothing else, I have a Glendola 17-year that's been sitting behind me for a very long time at home that I can finally open. I know it tastes very good. I've been able to sample it thanks to Irene because she, she reminded me that you shouldn't wait on things with whiskey. Like if something happened to me today, tomorrow, where, you know, I was just, you know, suddenly mm, it was over. Uh, I would, you know, I would have never gotten to try it. And that would feel pretty awful. So I have at least got a sample from her to try. And I know it's good. And I can't wait to open my own bottle. Because guess what? That also means I get to share it. <laughs> the other important part. Sharing my whiskey is part of all of this. I can't drink it all. I can't. I'll try, but I can't. Ugh. That's the fun part for me, getting to share the whiskey. And uh, whiskey song people a little bit along the way. Sorry, just move the desk. Hmm. Three hour stream for a thousand subscribers? If only it worked that way. I might do something like that at some point. But that certainly wouldn't be until I got home. And it'd be like the subscriber countdown. Like if we get to 850, how's that? If we get to 850 at some point, I will start doing live streams, uh, maybe on the Fridays for, you know, the subscriber countdown type of thing. But we'll see. That sounds like a lot. And really, it requires a lot more energy, which I have very little of right now. But uh, 
I would attempt to put a little bit more emphasis on the on the zaniness of it all. Like, come on, we're almost there. <laughs> Something like that. Get people, get people to be like, what the hell is happening here? Subscribe. I need to know more. Oh, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I want a snack. I might have had these last time I went stream. We have some uh, vanilla wafers still. I haven't eaten them all. There's about There's two more left after this. I want to get rid of these, otherwise they're going to start to go stale. Hmm. Oh yeah. I want to see if they pair with this or not. You probably don't. But vanilla, vanilla. Let's see. <laughs> Mmm. Ooh. Berries came out a little bit. Well, Michoko, hope you get some rest. Keep you posted on everything. Uh, hugs to Dad and you. Hopefully he'll be feeling better when I get back and I can give him some whiskey. I'll give him some of the 60% stuff. There you go. Uh, I guess I'll force some of Irene's Litchfield Singer Malt. Let's see if it has approved with air. I hope so. I remember I wasn't really a huge fan of it at the start, but we both know a little bit about more about that bottle and how she got it and such. <sighs> oh, that's another reason I wanted to have Irene talk with the still 630 guy is because he he likes to do blend. Like that bottle specifically is a blend. And I'm curious to see what Irene thinks about it, just because, you know, she said, as, as soon as I texted her about saying, hey, there's this guy who does this stuff, maybe you'd like to talk to him. And she's like, bring me some samples. I'm like, I don't have that option. I don't bring, like, empty sample things wherever I go. And uh, even if I wanted to, the guy was busy that day with doing tours for people. So I couldn't just be like, give me samples, dude. You've never met me before, and I have a YouTube channel about whiskey, but give me something for free. Hopefully he'll get in touch. He has the option. So if he does, then I can forward things to Irene and at least get them touching base. I don't like doing any of that, let's be clear. But it's a thing. I like it when I see two people who are enthusiastic about making whiskey. Uh, and I think they'd get along to some They'll either get along really well or hate each other. It's one of those. But seeing the guy who like, basically is the one person doing the distillery completely by himself... I think she'd be interested in that because then she could do more with it instead of stepping through the hoops where instead of talking to uh, the manager or the director or whatever to get to the point where she can make it uh, it would be talk to the guy who owns the distillery and makes the whiskey <laughs> all in one person hmm Mm -hmm. Hold on. I was looking at the thing and I lost it. Oh, there you go. Oops. All right. I know It's Bourbon A is going live tonight. I believe they're going live now. Again, this whole time shift thing is a bit weird for me. But I believe they're going live right now. They are drinking Irish whiskey. I think. So hop over there next, tell them Kilko sent you, uh, just to confuse them. I'm going to log off. It's been an hour. I might take a nap, and I also have to find out what my friend would like to do for the evening, if anything. I'm fine to just chill out for the rest of the evening and uh, vegetate for a while, because I've been doing a lot over the past few days. But I'll drink the rest of this and maybe have a little bit more of this Johnny Walk. Finishing this, though. Again, thank you, Rob, for this. As always, be long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. And I will see you. Uh, where is it? Out there. Hey, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.